Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this big guy right here. This is the MBK VLD, which of course is short for very low drag. Of course, I didn't measure its drag coefficient, but I'll go ahead and I'll take their words for it. Um, anyways, first off though, I want to thank uh, Monterey Bay Knives for loaning this guy my way. They said, hey Nick, you want to check out a VLD? I said, yes, I do. Uh, VLD much? That doesn't even make sense. That was a bad pun. But nonetheless, we have to assume that this is the very best quality controlled one of these guys ever, and I'm doing my best not to let that affect the nature or quality of my review, but there you go, full disclosure. Next thing, let's do some size comparison. This is a pretty big knife. Um, we'll put it up here against the Spyderco Delica and the Ontario Rat number two, so we can see here that this is uh, non-trivial in terms of its blade length. Here it is against the Spyderco Paramilitary two, which you can see this actually has more sharpened blade length than the PM2, so there's that. And then finally, I'll put it up against a more kind of classical Monterey Bay knives, the uh, EZC 2.0 which is actually their newest one, so it's not classical, but it really feels like an MBK, right? So anyways, um, there you go. That's your size comparison. Next thing, this is a collaboration between Monterey Bay Knives and, as you would probably imagine, given that it says, Carey Design right here, with Peter Carey. Peter Carey is a very, very well-known knife designer. He has produced, among other uh, reasonably well-known pieces, he is the, uh, the the designer of the Spyderco Rubicon and Magnitude, I believe, um, as well as a bunch of, he's got a very thriving custom business, etc. He's a, he's a well-known designer, and this is a collaboration between MBK and Peter Carey. So there you go. Let's go ahead and jump into the good, the great, the bad, the ugly of this very interesting pocket knife right here. So on the good side, um, we'll start off by talking about the fact that this is a thick boy. Now, that's a good thing in, in terms of ergonomics, and it really is. Ergonomically speaking, this is a great knife in the hand because it has this nice contoured carbon fiber here. It is very, very thick in the hand. I mean, we can put this guy up next to the Spyderco PM2. This is thicker than a PM2. It's a thick boy, 100%. Um, and, but it's got a nice wide clip on it. The ergos on this are very, very nice. This fills the hand great. And especially if you find yourself feeling like a lot of modern knives are too thin in this dimension, this is going to be something that's going to appeal to you. So it does definitely fill the hand nicely. Next thing, this guy is um, quite nicely finished. As you can see here, the blade is very, very nice and shiny and reflective. As I've recently cleaned it off there, so you can see it's not exactly a mirror polish, but you definitely get a little bit of hint of the bat in there, so that's good. Um, it's got very nice carbon fiber on here. It's contoured. It's not just a, uh, a flat carbon fiber here, and so and, and you can see here it plays with the light well. This is good quality CF right here. Um, it's got a very nice blade to it. It is M390, although that's not labeled on there, which we can go ahead and put in the bad. It is uh, got a reasonably thin edge. Even though the blade stock is quite thick, it does thin down pretty well. It's not the thinnest thing ever, but it definitely thins down a fair amount. It's uh, quite acceptable. Um, and it has a very neat swedge on the back of it there. It kind of, uh, yeah, it's unusual, but it, it kind of adds something, I think. That's that's very nice. Um, and so that's good. Next thing, this has some very nice details to it. Um, you've got this nice little hole motif going on here. You've got it down here as well as on the clip there, which is nice and is sort of a, a very uh, Peter Carey thing to do. And just Overall, I think, he, and as well as the screws here, as well as the blasted line is in here. I, it's kind of a little thing, but I really like, I think they're blasted. There's something that has been done to these liners to darken them up substantially. It, it looks quite good, and the carbon fiber backspacer looks excellent. Nice. I mean, it's just, it's very nice, and then always the logo etching is amazing. Monterey Bay does great work with logos. It's a little detail, but it is a detail that's important. Then finally, on the good side, the price of this guy is actually way better than I expected. I make a point, generally, not to learn the price until I'm writing my review, but uh, this surprised me. I had this guy pegged probably coming in closer to 300 bucks, but it's too hundred bucks. And that's good. Um, that's actually very, very good. And that makes this guy a lot more compelling than it might otherwise have been. So um, that, that, that's pretty solid. M390 with a big name designer and a great action for 200 bucks. Okay, that'll work. So to me, at least, um, that's what's good here is that it's 200 bucks, got some very nice details, a nice blade, nice carbon fiber, hundred percent. Um, it has nice finishing to it and it is uh, filling the hand quite nicely. On the great side to me though, the action and sound. Oh yeah. Listen to this. I don't know whether that comes out as well over the speakers. But oh yes. As an acoustics person, Oh, yes! This thing has an amazing detent feel. It just locks up so nicely. This thing is crispier than a bag of freaking Pringles in the middle of a desert. This thing is so 
damn smooth and crispy that I love it. The action on this is great. It's, you know, it, and it falls shut too, which you'd expect with a big old blade like this, but this has an amazing sound and action. I like it, I like it, I like it. So um, th 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 that to me is what's great here is that. You have to be a little crazy to really let that be a major determiner of a knife purchase, but for me, oh yeah, that's a thing. So that's the great to me. Um, so on the bad side, um, to start with, as you were hearing, there is a little tiny bit of lock stick with this guy. Um, it went away when I put a little sharpie on the blade, and you know, I put a little bit more on there, it might go away forever, but it's, it's just, it's a thing to consider there. Um, next thing, the blade is a little bit close in the back here. It's not to the point where it's outright dangerous, but it is a little bit creepy. So I hope they can kind of back that away for a future version there. Next thing, um, little detail, but there is not a lot of relief relative to uh, the lock bar here. The lock bar is not in any way proud of the uh, surrounding liner. And as a result, when you push this lock bar over, there's a very strong tendency for it to pinch your finger there. It's not the end of the world, but it definitely exacts a little tiny, you know, toll in blood every time you open it. Or I'm sorry, every time you close it. So, um, you know, it, it, that's that's so, so very, very exaggerated. But still, um, it, it, that's a little bit of a pinch point there, and that could be fixed in the future. Um, there were a couple of little fixes that could have made the disassembly about, a, disassembly that is, about a hundred times easier. Um, as you saw during the disassembly, if they just put screws in in the opposite orientation, things would have gone a lot more smoothly, but it's not the end of the world. It's definitely doable. It just requires you to take off a bunch more stuff. Then finally, on the bad side, this guy is a chunky boy. Oh my god. Not only do we have 0.125 stock, um, but we have these very, very thick scales. It, the whole thing is 4.4 ounces, which is not trivial at all. Um, there is honestly no part of this knife that couldn't use to be put on a diet. Um, it's just thick. Um, thin the blade stock out. It's going to cut better. It's going to look better. It's uh, thin the the, the 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 scales a little bit. Thin the line. It's just thin the whole thing out. And this would be way more compelling as it stands. This is a super chunky boy, and I don't know that it quite needs to be. Um, so to me at least, that's what's bad here is that it is definitely chunky. It definitely pinches you a little bit in here. There were a couple little fixes, and this assembly could have made things easier. And the blade is a little close in the back, and there's a little hint of lock stick here. On the ugly front, there is one ugly issue here, and that is the clip on this guy. The clip is unfortunate in that, and I'm going to see if I can show this off, but it's, it's kind of tricky with the way that cameras focus, but this guy, the clip only touches in one exact place here. If I put my hand right behind there, yeah, you can see there is exactly one area right under here where the clip touches. Everything else, the clip is just hovering above there, and that's not great. Um, what that means is that there is a single point of contact with the fabric, and that makes this very, very snaggy. Add to it the fact that there's a little bit of hook underneath there in the design of the clip. That's just not good. This ends up really eating on your pockets. It's going to be in there. It, it stays, certainly, but in and out of the pocket each time, this is a bit of a fight. And so I really don't like the way that this clip ended up working. And it's, it's beautiful. I get it. And ergonomically, it's a great choice. But this is a knife that is just not amazing in terms of that. I, this is a knife I would consider carrying in a belt slip, honestly. Um, the, the, the clip is definitely problematic. And I hope that's something they can kind of revise in a future run to get a little bit nicer to not have that issue or even move to a, a, th a thick spring clip or something like that, because that's just, it's just not great. And I get it, they're painted into a con uh, corner with the contouring there, and contouring the clip would make it snag in a different way. But yeah, the clip, that snagitude is pretty bad. You, given it's better to have too much retention than too little, and if you don't really like your pants, this is a great way to go. But yeah, uh, the clip to me is definitely ugly, and I'm not a big fan of that. So final conclusion, um, this is a, another design-heavy knife, and honestly, your feelings on the design have already dis determined your feelings on the piece, right? There is a lot of good here. It's got good ergos. Um, it's got nice finishing and carbon fiber. It's got a solid blade, some nice details, a price that's pretty competitive, and a sound and a feel that are just amazing. Um, mind you, the blade is a little creepy close here in the back. The disassembly is a little bit on the weird side. It's a chunky boy. The clip needs some attention. And uh, But the thing is, honestly, at this price, at, at 350 or something like that, absolutely no go. Nope, not a thing. But at this price, at 200 bucks, yeah. You know, I can still see a bunch of people saying, you know what? I'm okay with this. I, all those little bad things are... Not great, but I can do it. I, I can absolutely deal with it. And so the biggest thing, as with a lot of these sort of maker-first knives, is the design. Do you like the design? If I put this knife down on the table and you go, oh, wow, yes, then 
you should buy this knife. If I put this design on the table and you're like, eh, then I don't know, there are probably other pieces out there. But again, for the price, it's pretty good. Um, the thing is, you'll come for the design, stay for the action sort of thing. But anyways, um, that's, that's kind of my feeling here generally is like, it's a solid piece. It's got a couple little flaws and hopefully a second round, they'll fix some of those flaws. Um, but uh, if you're in this for the design, then come for the design. You'll, you'll, you'll probably really enjoy this knife and it'll be a great piece in your collection. But otherwise, I think that this guy might have just a little bit too much drag and a little too much heft to be the best choice for you. So anyways, there you go. Hope this is interesting to you and have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.